Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Back again on my Warships account. Let's go over to Warships. Today guys, we're gonna be hitting up some bases. A couple days ago I made a Warships video that just went awful. The only benefit of that video was I upgraded my barrages one time. We're saving up for this upgrade now. It's definitely gonna be worth it. I'll explain later in today's video, but terrible, terrible loss streak, guys. Terrible loss streak. It was a loss after a loss after a loss, and then I decided to redesign my base, and it's been a win, a win, a win, and a win, a win. So hopefully today we'll keep up that trend, we'll keep winning. This is the base design you guys need to do if you want to get up higher in warships. Once you have six engine rooms, make a base like this. This one has been working well. I want to show you a couple replays. Well, just this first replay because this was a fun one. I'll watch the enemy hit my base first and then I'll show you how to hit a base like this if you come across it. Upgrading barrages is very helpful because I think for this strategy and base, you kind of have to barrage and bark down one of the engine rooms. If you want to get a decently fast time, 227 versus a base like this, is insanely fast and I don't even know how that happened so I think doing that would be helpful like just barting down an engine room and you'll see him trying to bart down my doom cannon it was a solid move on his part but yeah my shock blaster it just tears apart his troops if troops go into that range I mean he took down my engine room but it's gonna yeah it's just gonna eat away at his troops and I think do I take down his hero not quite, but close. Yeah, my shock blaster just ate away at his troops. He flares up. He's really trying hard. My mines, of course, are an issue for him the way I have my mines set up. Perfect. It, it, that's how you're supposed to hit that base. Like, it's hard to hit that base. And then we'll watch my replay of hitting his base. Not, I don't think, as difficult, but a very similar base design. Like, we have the same thing going on. The shock blasts are down there, Doom Cannon up at the top. So what I do is I spread out my troops. And you'll see what that does in a second. But my heavies are being stupid, so I have to keep shocking the shock blaster. Kind of what he had to do. But eventually I take down the shock blaster. My troops up here are crushing it. This whole time I'm barting down that engine room in the back. I take down all the engine rooms, and I just flare to the core. And I didn't realize how little bombardiers I had left. I had two bombardiers left and I didn't realize that until after I flared and I was like oh shoot I might actually lose this but it was a solid attack so we have a times five win streak going on let's just keep going let's keep pushing hopefully we don't start off the video with a loss I want to give my opinion on a couple things first of all the leaderboards are I wish the leaderboards decrease stars once per day you lose five percent of your stars or once per week or something because people get to legendary 10 they have four engine rooms and then they just sit at the top because they don't need to attack anymore and it's it's hard for the rest of us to see that so this player actually has the flotsam not the semo which is interesting i think the semo would have probably been a better upgrade oh what to do Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go from down here, four, one, two, three, four, trying to make sure my troops don't get hit by that flotsam blast, and then we're gonna bark down this last engine room over here. Throughout our time here, perfect, oh man, I'm gonna just drop a med kit on my hero. You know, I maxed out my med kits a couple days ago, and definitely a worthwhile upgrade. It's helped me so much. Gosh, my hero is on the verge of on the verge of getting fried. <laughs> I'm surprised he lasted this long. Okay, I have enough for one more. Yeah, I can do one more hero. Let's do one more hero activation, and then I need to start spending my energy barting down this engine room in the back here. Boom and boom. Yeah, it's just having upgraded barrages is going to help me so much more. Bart down an engine room, and it's going to get harder to bart down stuff. It's going to get a lot harder to just bart down stuff once I... Okay, I 
Should we just flare? Let's flare. Let's Bart. That should take it down. It's gonna get harder once people start getting those health nodes. Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we got this guy. We got this guy. Beat a minute and a half. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that was a fast attack. That guy, that poor soul. Yeah. He probably should have moved his one engine room that was up here, back in the corner. Probably would have worked better. I mean, it wouldn't have stopped me. I still would have crushed him, but dang, that was that was insanely fast. Yeah, I'm really getting the hang of defeating these bases. I'm not sure if they're faster once people know the strategy to them. And each one of them is different. So I don't want to, like, make myself be some pro. Like, talk myself up and then hit a base where it's a little bit different and I don't hit it on the correct side or something. Yeah. Oh, this guy is a new base design. Let's see how much HP. 25, 20,000. If I just go from the bottom here and Bart down this engine room up here, this guy has damage. He has a damage node. Oh my gosh, this guy is way ahead of the game. This is going to be a hard base to hit. Three, six. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I feel like that's the best move. The only thing is, is I'm going to be spending a lot of energy barting down. And I don't know if my uh, my troops will all stay alive. But let's just send it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, yes. Here we go. This is going to be a fun attack. Let's go. One, two, one. Of course, the grappler is going to be an issue. Like, it's going to take a couple troops every couple seconds. And... I mean, that's going to hurt me, but I'm hoping it won't be that big of an issue. We're just going to spend our energy barting down. Keep activating our hero. You know, we have to keep our troops alive as, as long as possible. Just every time I activate my hero, I get six new. Ooh, ooh my hero is uh, getting hit, kind of. <laughs> that could be bad. I just need one more. Yeah, let's do one more activation can bark down that one pretty easily the only thing I'm worried about is my yeah we'll drop a shot okay let's flare let's take it out we'll bark down the last one boom dang 250 <laughs> oh my gosh like this is crazy fast I, I can't believe that was 250. That's been my fastest time for so long. Granted, his base did kind of suck. He's bringing a Scorcher. Oh, man. I don't know about Scorchers. Like, maybe Scorchers work? Scorchers and Bombardiers? I mean, Scorchers take a lot of energy to land. So maybe it's not the best combination. But I don't know if this guy's going to finish. Like, my Doom Cannon is going to kill them. I still have a lot of Boom Cannons left. He's trying to get more troops. He's trying to get a clump, and then he'll probably bark down something. This is going to be an interesting attack to see how he's able to defeat this. But, I mean, he still has a Scorcher. Like, he'll probably be fine. But his Scorcher won't die from a couple boom cannons. I don't think. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. I mean, he'll get wounded. He'll die eventually, but I think he'll defeat... Ooh. Yeah, he is getting wounded faster than I expected. I don't know what level that Scorcher is, but... It looks like his hero is about to get fried. Like, as soon as that boom... Or as soon as that Scorcher dies... One, it will blow up, and it might hurt the hero. Yeah, it really hurt the hero. Oh, he activates a new Scorcher. What a guy. This guy. Man. I should have known he was gonna do that. But... I did kill his hero. Which is fine i mean he is he'll he'll win i mean he has enough bombardiers he could flare to the cores now and win so crazy though that i was able to take him out in a minute and 10 seconds so just strategy tips try to get your barrages upgraded as much as possible just simply upgrading your barrages will help you be able to bark down engine rooms like it's hard now and imagine how much easier it will be when i max out my barrages and after that, I might start maxing out my artillery also. 
because I'm not really close to those building health and building damage nodes. So I don't really have to worry about those. But yeah, this player really has to redesign his base. Make it align. Try to stop me as much as possible. But, you know, I'm riding this times seven win streak. Let's go again. Let's see if we can get a win. I, I'm getting a little bit cocky, guys, I have to admit. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't keep attacking. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This guy is like the identical base as the last guy. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Okay. Ooh, maybe this was a mistake. I did not drop enough troops on the on this side down here. So we're going to drop a shock, help us out a bit, and start barding. Activate our hero. The Doom Cannon, the Shock Blaster, kind of an issue, so I'm just gonna keep activating my ability and then Bart down a little bit later in the attack. That's a fine thing to do. It's alright. Over on this side. Let's get a Shock down. I'm not liking the Boom Cannon. I only have three heavies left. Oof. Yeah, we might lose our hero here soon. Let's activate again. Now I really have to start barting down stuff. Let's drop a Shock. Um, okay, at this point, we should be fine. Now we just have to spend all energy goes to barting down this poor engine room in the back here. And I need one more barrage. See what my troops do. They'll take down that. Take down that. We'll flare to the last one. Let's bart. Let's artillery. Let's artillery it. And let's go. Boom. Boom. And this one should break really fast my bombardiers down here are very close to dying but 236 not awful but not the greatest time i mean I, I feel like that was a decent attack like i did everything correctly and this guy can still beat me but he would have to flare now and he's not gonna flare interesting strategy oh he was letting his his zookas walk that gap so many people are taking advantage of that gap i have in my minds i like it you're know, like christian why do you like that Ooh. okay he has barrages i was like maybe we have a chance here my boom cannon i mean my rocket launchers are going ham on azukas but he barred it down but we defeated him there very very nice maybe we should fix this gap in our in our mine placement move that over just a little bit and we'll move that one I like mines that have three, because then those take down the the bombardiers. So, yeah, let's take away that gap just a little bit. I liked it because it would force users to go through it, and then they usually lose troops going through it. 217, a pretty good time. If we look at my last eight battles, 214, 210, 2, 204... 155, 202, 26, 217. Like, this was the best guy that came across my base and was able to defeat me. Fastest I was able to defeat a base was this 250. And the reason was, was because it's not a line. Literally, I could just drop my troops down here, watch him go, and then bark down an engine room. And that's what made it so bad. So yeah, if you have six engine rooms, redesign your base like this. I'm not sure the same strategy works for five engine rooms. But it's a really strong base design, and I copied it from someone. So, yeah, I didn't make it myself. This is not my own design. To end the video, let's just do a couple, or maybe just one real player, you know. So I don't I don't really want to attack warships again and lose. So I just wanted a video of all dubs. So we'll just drop our troops. We have all Zookas in it. matter if I lose all my Zookas because I have gold. We'll flare, we'll activate Kaban, not Kaban Brick. Let's get some critters down and we'll get a couple shocks. Ooh. Very nice. That's a good way to end the video, just an insta kill on the core. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the current state of Season 3 Warships. Do you guys, I know I didn't really talk about this, but do you guys think the leaderboard should decrease stars, or do you think it's okay that players push up to the top and sit there?
seems kind of annoying but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you should drop a like as always i'm looking forward to reading your comments on how you think worships is going for you how well you're doing right now and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like it really helps us and it helps the youtube algorithm i'll talk to you guys next time bye